Good evening. Welcome back with me Adrian in daily Bible reading. Last time we read Jesus teachings about making promises, retaliation, and loving your enemies. Jesus continued with explaining about giving with pure heart and also about fasting and lastly about lasting treasure. Which teachings do you find related with your circumstances right now? Hopefully, His Word gives you strength to do what is right in your life today. And tonight, before learning more about Jesus' teachings, let's pray together. Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you for the chance given to us to read your Bible. Open our hearts, open our minds, and give us Holy Spirit to understand about the word that we are going to read tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now, please open your Bible with us from Matthew chapter 6, verse 23. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 6, verse 23 to 27. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters, either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and dis despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Do not worry. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body. What you will wear is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet our heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? Thank you. Hello, today I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 6, verse 28 to 32. Why do you worry about clothing? Think about how the flowers of the field grow. They do not work or spain. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his glory was clothed like one of these. And if this hoe got caught the wild grass, which is here today and tomorrow is tossed into the fire to heat the oven, won't tell he clothed you even more, you people with little faith? So then, don't worry saying what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear. For the uncomforted, First, this thing, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Amen. Thank you. Hello, today I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 to 34. But above all, pursue his kingdom and righteousness, and all this thing will be given to you as well. So then, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Today has enough trouble of its own. Matthew chapter 7, verse 1 to 3. Do not judge so that you will not be judged. For by the standard you judge, you will be judged. And the measure you use will be the measure you receive. Why do you see the speck in your brother's eye, but fail to see a beam of wood in your own? Amen. Hello everyone. Today I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 7 verse 4 to 8. Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove this bag? 
from your eye while there is a beam in your own. You hypocrite! First, remove the beam from your own eyes. And then, you can see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not, do not give what is holy to dogs or through your pearls before pigs. Otherwise, they will trample them under their feet and turn around and tear you to pieces. Ask, seek, knock. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks, who receives. And the one who seeks, find. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Amen. Hello, today I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 7, verse 9 to 13. Is there anyone among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone, or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, although you are evil, now how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? In everything, treat other, others as you will want them to treat you, for this fulfills the law and the prophets. The narrow gate. Enter, tr enter through the narrow gate because the gate is wide and the way is spacious that leads to destruction and there are many who enter through it. Hello, today I want to read the Bible from Matthew chapter 7 verse 14 to 18. But the gate is narrow and the way is difficult that leads to life. And there are few who find it, a tree and its fruit. Watch out for false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ferocious wolves. You will recognize them by their fruit. Grapes are not gathered from thorns or figs, from thistles are they. In the, in the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree is not available to bear bad fruit, nor a bad tree to bear good fruit. Amen. Today, I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 7, verse 19 to 23. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So then, you will recognize them by their fruit. Judgment of Pretenders Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name, and cast our demons in your name, and do many powerful deeds in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you lawbreakers. Amen. Hello, today I want to read the Bible from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 28, 9. Everyone who hears these words of mine, Thus then is like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the flood came, and the wind beat against that house, but it did not collapse because it had been founded on rock. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the flood came, and the wind beat against that house, and it collapsed. It was utterly destroyed. When Jesus finished saying these things, the crowd were amazed by his teaching, because he taught them like one who had authority, not like their experts in the law. Amen.
Jesus taught us in tonight's Bible reading that hearing and doing are related. Without doing what we already heard about God's word, our life will collapse and be utterly destroyed. So it is not enough just by reading his word. It is not enough just by hearing about his word. But each one of us needs to obey by doing his word. I pray that God through his Holy Spirit strengthens you and enables you with his grace to do his word in your daily life. Until we meet again in daily Bible reading, have a great night. Jesus bless you and bye-bye.